Hi everyone, welcome to the weekly reading for February 27th through March 5th. Guys, I'm super excited. Look at this spread. Oh my God, it's gorgeous. It is um, a spread that uh, I was super excited to do for this week. So I'm changing things up as you can see, but um, there's a lot more cards. Um, we'll see how that plays out. But I also am using this new card deck that I got called the spread deck. And so we're laying it out and showing you, it's a little easier to read even from your side of, you know, what to expect um, instead of, uh, obviously I, I usually verbalize, you know, what category uh, I'm kind of going into when I'm doing the readings, but this makes it a little bit easier, okay? And it makes it a little bit more clear for everybody. And that's kind of the point of doing these, these um, card readings is really helping you guys get clarity for the week, okay? So as you can see, we have six main categories. Um, we have strengths. Challenges of the week, focus of the week, surprises of the week, money and finances, and then we have our relationships last year, okay? So I have two cards for each. So we're gonna do it this way. If you guys like the way that this is spread out, the way that I'm reading this, please let me know in the comments below. Um, if you like this content, like and subscribe. Um, by subscribing, you'll be notified of uh, new videos. And at this point, I'm doing weekly. I plan to do the monthly on this channel as well. So please go ahead and like and subscribe. And let's just jump right into it, guys. Let's see what this week has in store for us. We're going into March already. I can't believe it. What a fast month. It is one of the shorter months. It is the shortest month. <laughs> so... Um, okay, let's begin here. So let's see, the strengths of the week, building blocks, always creating a new, always continuing to uh, build, and then we have Oracle wait for important information. Okay, so our strengths of this week is really, I do feel this ambitious energy coming up with this building blocks here, but I also do funny, it's almost like these two are kind of colliding against each other and kind of sort of like oxymorons but this is also saying oracle is always about waiting you know waiting and not necessarily pouncing on it so i definitely do feel like a lot of us are definitely and that's a strength of ours because i don't know about you i definitely feel like february started out really strong for me um as far as like ambition and motivation and then it kind of died down towards the end of february so you might be feeling a little bit of that this week where it almost feels conflicting, right? Because I said these are kind of like colliding, conflicting type energies where it's kind of like you do feel ambitious, but it's also like you're waiting for something. So I definitely feel like um, even though there's not, oh yeah, there's a two in this card. This says 28 here and you guys know I dabble in numerology. Uh, two is always like more of the patience card. So that's interesting that that's coming up that way. And it's kind of saying like, uh, you know, be patient. So I feel like the strength for this week is really, um, yes, feeling those pangs of motivation, but maybe having to wait on something. But that's where the strength actually lies, because we're actually getting clearer on what we want to do. And maybe not, you know, all the other moving parts that maybe we need to move forward are not necessarily coming through this week. And that's okay. But the strength is more clarity about what you want to build and not necessarily the action part of it. Um, but it's okay, because it feels like and it seems like a lot of you guys are looking for more of that clarity. Um, you have been looking for it. And definitely this year um, is the year of the seven. Like I said, I dabble in numerology. It's a universal year seven for a lot of us. Seven is a very spiritual number that is linked to more purpose, passion. And of course, a lot of us are getting more clarity around that. So that's our strength this week. Clarity is coming for a lot of us in a big, big way. Doesn't necessarily mean action taking. Uh, action taking, okay? I'm talking really fast, guys. Um, okay, so what do we have next here? Challenge, to be fair, sun and joy, success and happiness. Okay, so the challenges of the week. So to be fair, okay, so to be fair is always, um, that is telling you uh, to, uh, how to be balanced, right? Um, how to make things fair. So I definitely do feel like challenges coming up for us in the way of balancing things. So this could be work-life balance, but it also feels more so on the justice side of things. Um, you know, how to be fair to somebody. So there might be a decision coming up this week for a lot of us um, in the collective here that um, it feels like you're trying to make a decision that's fair for all parties. So I have to say what I'm getting from this too is like um, if you guys uh, manage people at work, I definitely do feel like a conflict could be kind of coming up in this way of like how to be fair to everybody involved, um, how to divvy up projects um, in a way that's fair and just. So definitely look out for that. And I definitely do feel like it is challenging because it's not a black and white thing, but I definitely do feel like you guys do the right thing because we do have the sun here, enjoy success and happiness. What is the right thing? 
what I mean by that is like making it as fair as possible. So what I can say about this is I definitely do feel like a decision kind of coming up this week that is very challenging to make sure that you're fair to all parties. Okay, so take that how that resonates for you guys. But again, the sun tells me, you know, by the end of the week, I think everybody is going to be in a good place. And I think, you you know, you did the best that you can. You're only human. Um, but I definitely do feel like a fair and just decision um, is definitely coming from you. So it is going to be challenging. But like I said, at the end of the week, um, it definitely uh, seems promising for sure. Okay, what should we focus on this week? Um, okay, so we should definitely focus on Oh, this is so good. Great teacher learn from his spiritual experiences. Happy, happy. Oh, we love the happy, happy. That means really, really positive things. Okay. So basically, um, focusing on your happiness. So this tells me a lot about mental health. Um, this tells me a lot about spiritual health and this tells me about self care. This has actually been coming up a lot. Um, self care is always like the underlying thing that people, you know, kind of forget to do or, you know, it's kind of like a staple, you know, loving yourself, self-worth, but I've been getting a lot of these in my private readings lately. Um, so that definitely does tell me that we really need to focus on our happiness, what brings us joy, that kind of thing. And then learning from spiritual experiences. So focusing on how far we've come, it, focusing on the lessons that we've just recently been through. Guys, if you've been following me for a while, you know, I had this saying about, um, no days off. And <laughs> basically what I mean by that is that life is just a series of experiences and lessons and blessings um and so basically this is kind of like spirit asking us how do we turn the lessons of you know the last year the last few months the last few years you know and turn those into blessings and, and see if we've learned the lessons because i do feel this change approaching i don't necessarily feel it yet for this week um like it's not specific to this week but i'm definitely feeling it for the year even though we're not you know the five energy the number five is really about change so is the two technically and i definitely do feel a lot of this two energy like i said if i i felt it in the patients we have it actually again here in in the 26 um which is linked to patience. And again, like I said, it is linked to change. Five is more massive change, but I definitely do feel like we've been kind of going through this growth spurt, a lot of us during even the pandemic, you know, we've all been through really interesting experiences um, in the last few years. And this is kind of saying, what have you learned from it? So this is a really pondering type of week. Okay, so these two cards here are more in action cards, which makes sense because our strength this week is more contemplative energy, more introspective work. Um, you know, not necessarily any action taken, any anything that we should be doing. It's more of the being. So that's what I get for this, for sure. Um, so that's our focus this week, okay? So I do also want to say this, all right, because I'm feeling this and I, I read intuitively, obviously. Um, please don't think you're lazy. <laughs> So I definitely, like I said, definitely feel like right off the gate, maybe the beginning of this week, we're going to feel motivated. We're going to feel ambitious. But if we don't accomplish anything by the end of the week, if, it, if there's not much that we are uh, accomplishing or anything like that, if we've learned the lessons, if we've contemplated, if we've if we've put two and two together, if we cultivated cultivated awareness around what we've been through, we've won. OK, so I just want to put that out there. So please, if some of you guys feel like, you know, it comes Friday, Saturday, Sunday by the weekend and you feel like you didn't accomplish much this week. Please be easy on yourselves. That wasn't the point of the week, okay? Okay, so any surprises coming up for this week? Yes, a leg up. Yes, 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 yes. This is always um, advantageous energy. So this means that we have an advantage of some kind. This comes up many times in, in other readings. Um, I think it came up actually in last week. So, and I actually felt like it was more work related last week, if I remember correctly, but this means in general. So we definitely have advantageous energy, meaning that things are working for us, um, in a way. And so if there's an opportunity, jump on it. Okay. And then we have spring, see your seeds grow. Perfect. So surprise. Okay. So yes. Oh my God. This is another great one because spring is always about planting the seeds, right? We always plant the seeds in the springtime, that type of energy. So anything that you've been working towards, for example, that maybe you planted the seeds, like maybe you've been working on a business for like a really long time. And this week you'll start to see the fruits of your labor. You'll start to actually see the plant actually coming out of the ground. So, and this could also be metaphorically in the way of like, if you feel like you've been planted, like if you feel like you haven't um, been able to, um, oh gosh, I'm gonna, I'm so bad with, uh, sayings and quotes and i'm gonna butcher it so i'm gonna i'm gonna refrain from it but basically sometimes when you feel like you're being planted um you're just being prepared for something bigger okay so um that's what that spring energy is about so you're gonna get a good surprise this week like something along the lines of something that you've been working on for a really long time produces fruits of your labor basically this week okay 
Um, okay, money and finances. Ooh, bring it on. We love money and we love finances. And I can actually categorize this as work too, okay? So we have community. Okay, so community with the eight. Ooh, we love when the eight shows up in money and finances because it's about abundance. Um, and then sh uh, uh, snake shed old skin. Oh, I remember the snake from last week because this was um, came up in the relationship slot and it was saying, you know, watch out for... Um, snake type energy some fool you know snake oil type energy you know fool, you know people fooling us kind of thing so um different meaning this week actually with the money and finances this actually says putting aside any old limiting beliefs any um uh old ways of thinking about finances old ways of thinking about money so i definitely do feel like like a, the word reframe is actually popping up in my mind about this like reframing how we think about money and how we uh, perceive money and all that good stuff. So that's actually in a, in a really positive way, honestly. Um, and then we have community. So I definitely do feel like there is opportunity. So to make more money in community. Okay. So this could mean that working together on a project this week with somebody could help you get ahead. Um, and by the way, it doesn't actually have to be metaphorical money and finances could be abundance in general. So working with other people this week is definitely favored in community, not just anybody, but people that you vibe with, kismet energy, soulmate type energy, um, working with these people in community will bring more abundance. So if it's work, you know, working, you know, maybe you are, uh, how do I say this? Uh, refraining or protesting against working in a, in a group project. Maybe you're in school and you're thinking about that and you're saying, oh my gosh, I don't think I could do this. Um, it's not gonna be lucrative. I don't work well with other people. You know, this is especially talking to you guys out there in the collective that don't work with, well with other people that really do feel like solo work is best for you. Spirit is saying, mm -mm, this week it feels like working with somebody will help you become more lucrative. So that's very interesting. Okay, and then we have relationships. Let's see what we got going on here. Oh, these are sliding all over the place, guys. <laughs> okay, and so relationships, we have round and round, and then we have Shayla Master, Be Graceful, Move in Action. Guys, tying back to the original one here, wait for important information. This is more of an inaction week. You guys know that I, I sometimes, um, if, at least if you've been following me for a while, if you haven't, um, I sometimes kind of cat try to categorize the energies as whether it's actionable energy or if it's inaction, more reflective type work. I think of it as more of like introverted, extroverted, being versus doing, feminine versus masculine. And it definitely does feel more for fe more feminine. We have way more feminine cars. Um, be graceful in movement and action means, you know, be strategic with um, your moves. Don't You don't have to move right away. You don't have to just be doing something to be doing something to keep yourself busy. And so when it retains, uh, pertains to our relationships here, it definitely does feel like, please go slow. Okay, so please go slow. And if you're in a romantic relationship, don't be making, you know, any decisions based off of temporary emotions. Don't be making any quick, hasty decisions. Um, you know, be very thoughtful, be very strategic, very calculated in your movements and your decisions and all of that stuff. And then we also have the round and round. Okay, and so that tells me that that might be pertaining to situations that keep coming up, okay? And actually that's connected over here, okay? To great teacher learn from spiritual experiences, okay? We have this element of really focusing on situations that um, have happened to us in the past that continue to happen to us, okay? And that have happened to us um, and what are the lessons with it? So I definitely feel this contemplative type feeling in our relationships. Again, it doesn't have to be romantic, but what are the common patterns that are coming up in our relationships and it's time to slow down and, and, and be strategic about doing things differently, okay? To do things differently. And by contemplating and focusing on our spiritual experiences um, and our lessons and our blessings and all that stuff, why do these things happen to me? Why am I in this type of relationship? Why am I doing this? Why do I react this way? That is gonna be extremely helpful this week. So find it interesting, it's in the same row too. So this is really, really important to focus on here. Um, uh, again, completely like more introspective, contemplative type week for, you know, all across the board, essentially. So yeah, pretty good week, guys. I hope this was helpful for you. Tell me if you like this type of card spread. Um, I think it's pretty cool. I think it, it kind of like lays out like the different type of energies that we have going on and it makes it a little bit more clear for you guys, especially from a visual standpoint. So let me know if you like it, okay? So thank you guys. Um, hopefully some of this will resonate with you. Hopefully most of it, um, this is for the collective. I don't think I said that earlier, but this is the collective's reading. So let me know down below if you like the card, uh, the card spread um, or if you have any suggestions for anything differently. I 
welcome feedback. And I hope that this definitely resonated with you guys and you have a really great week. And uh, don't be afraid to come back here and write in the comments, you know, as the week goes on, if anything kind of resonates or manifests for you in a way that maybe I spoke about, that's super helpful. And I love hearing those type of stories, okay? So have a good one, guys. Have a wonderful week.